Hello, everyone. My name is Marcio. I appreciate the opportunity to be here and talk a little bit about snakes and especially about rattlesnakes snakes and accidents with them. And also about the potential studies uh, with venom and the production of medicine is a substance of medical interest. I'm a part of a group coordinated by teacher Carla Sabert, and together we are connected to the postgraduate program in environmental sciences here at the Federal University of Tocantins. In general, our group focuses to, on research to understand the relationships between venoms, animals, and the nature environmentals uh, uh, of our region, uh, which the Cerrado Bioma, part of the territorial called uh, Legal Amazon. And we also try to understand how to the relationships between these animals and humans and establish uh, the relationships with these animals and humans are established, especially with the increasing occurrence of modification on the natural landscapes by agricultural uh, areas. And of course, uh, we also to study the epidemiology of the occurrences, uh, the biochemical mechanisms, and the effects of this poison and try to recognize the existing potentials of production of medical and pharmaceutical compounds. This lecture has been prepared uh, basically in three central, central areas. Uh, we are covered general aspects of biology, biology and ecosystems the animals themselves with epidemiology of accidents and general mechanisms of poison. After that, we will, uh, we will then talk more especially about rattlesnakes and we will finish with, with some true medical potentials and exist the study of the rattlesnakes venoms. All right, guys, let's go, let's start. Initially, uh, I, it is interesting to know that snakes are ver vertebral animals. Uh, vertebral animals are carnivorous, and they that they belong to a super family, containing more than three thousand species cataloged around the, all the planet. Here in Brazil, we have a register for more than four hundred and forty known species which distribute in 10 superfamilies. But uh, the 10 superfamilies, uh, we need to understand that studies is concentrate mainly in four of them, choosing essentially uh, for their toxicology relevance. Of course, this cutoff is made because the consequences of the damage of poisons in humans, when unfortunately an interaction with people results in in a snake bite. Talk a little more about these animals. We can show the, their characteristics is in different approaches. Uh, that is, we can classify it according to the information that interests in the researchers to know. And so we can classify in three uh, these animals in poison and not poison, uh, according to the nature of teeth, these animals uh, that work. Uh, or still according to the habits in the specific characteristics, according to the species, according to the nature of compounds and make up the venom, and uh, if it's toxicology, toxicology relevance or not have toxicology relevance. Talking a little about, about these families of toxicology relevance, especially uh, here in Brazil, we have two families with medical relevance, the Viperidae and Elapidae genera is to be noted, uh, but there are two others with some relevance, the Colobridae and lastly the Idrophidae. The Viperidae family, we have highlights to, to show the Botrophic genera. He is here, we will find the genera Jararaca, snake, the genera uh, Crotalus, and we here we find the rattlesnakes, which we will talk about uh, is in more details uh, later on. Uh, we also have the general lachesis. Uh, here we find the surucucu pico de jaca found mainly in Amazon bioma. 
Second, file, second family, the elapidi. Uh, we will highlight the genera Micrurus. Then we find the uh, two corals, uh, coral snakes, as uh, representatives. And finally, the members of Colopridae and Hydrophidae, families about which we will not speak uh, at this moment. Talking that snakes are famous uh, for their teeth, uh, let's talk a little bit about them, about the, the tooth. The tooth. Uh, snakes have different dentish, dentitions and different types of teeth uh, according to the, their species. The main function of this modifier teeth is to inject the venom pro produced by the snake's glands into the prey. So, <clears throat> so in general, we need to understand that there are species that have nothing special in their teeth and they're called aglyphas. Other snakes have specialized teeth, uh, such, uh, such as opstoglyphas, and which the teeth are positioned but uh, at the back of the mouth and have an incomplete groove. Uh, another more specialized dentition is the proteroglyphos fang is in which the specialized teeth are already located in front of the dental wire. And finally, um, uh, and finally, no, sorry. Uh, and this uh, uh, poterograph of fangs, it, uh, and this tooth uh, has almost complete groove uh, as, found, as, found, as found in the true coral snakes, uh, this kind of teeth. And finally, we must specialize teeth for all, of all which the we, uh, which work like a lead, a perfect inoculation mainly uh, are the teeth of the solenoglyphos fang, uh, such as hato snakes and jararaca snakes. Uh, we have, for example, this, this kind of uh, dentations. But these amazing animals. So I have another extra to work, to work, uh, to work nothing. It is the laurel fossils. Each is with the, this extra uh, that they are able to perceive the environment as well uh, and use to search and hunt its prey and establish this its security perimeter around the environment uh, that is these animals explorers. It is interesting to note that in Brazil, uh, only venom snakes have this territory, the hato snakes being an uh, uh, example. Since we're talking about hunting, uh, let's talk a little bit about behaviors of snakes. So in order to understand the snake's behavior, hunting or defense and strategies uh, and interaction with the environment, we must keep in mind that the snakes are use another biological extruders to satisfy their needs and that we humans don't have or don't value uh, as much in our environment. Therefore, then we talk about snakes, we should point out that their bonds are filled the vibrations on the ground. It is important um, a strategy of this animal and uh, this animal use. The loyal fossils detect heat sources and smell the air with our tongue by means the organ Jacob, of Jacob, Jacobson. They can capture and decipher, decipher the odors available in the air. The systems allow them to integrate into, the, the, into their environment. Remembering uh, that they have eyes, ears, and nose, but they're particularly blind and deaf in most of cases but they use their nose to breathe like us. Another important aspect to, in, uh, is the habit of these animals during the day. In general, like, uh, uh, snakes like, uh, like to, uh, to walk around at night more than during the day, preferring warm and more protective environments. And depending on its species, are explore and hunt activity, uh, like jararaca, or hunt uh, by prowling, uh, like the, the hato snakes. Uh, as 
we can see from the graph on the left, from the experience that maybe the circadian circle of Jararacas, we can see that three uh, there have three peaks of displacement, but they are all night. Perhaps these are periods then the pre is most active in the uh, in the environment. Maybe in general, snakes are more active in summer or spring and remain more protected and less activity in winter and fall. Maybe that is why there is more accidents in those seasons as we can see in the graph in the right side in the slide. Then we talk about accidents. Epidemiologically, we can see that the number of events is large and these encounters, unfortunately, there are accidents with bikes. In Brazil, in last, uh, in last 10 years, around 20,000 accidents per 100,000 inhabitants involving snakes are registered, which shows the, import the importance of these events and how, and how they need to explore it and understood and as they have it, as happened. Uh, as well, uh, and establish uh, that strategies, adaptions, products, and possible therapies uh, we can use to mitigate the damage produced by this situation. But let's talk a little bit about poisons, and then we talk about poisons in general. Snakes will represent for for uh, are present uh, four types of effects more prevalent the neurotoxic, the cytotoxic, hematotoxic, and neotoxic effects. And depending on the species, some effects are more potent, potent than others. And depending on the species, uh, some uh, uh, we are potent than others. And just uh, that is point is just, 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 just fight because there are several factors I interfere the expression of the production of these venoms. These are factors such as, such as the animal's age, uh, the diet that uh, it has access to, the environmental factors such as temperature, temperature, elevation, elevation, uh, the humid, and type of vegeta uh, vegetation. Uh, there is lives and moves around. Uh, is in short. Uh, in short, these are points to influence both the nature and the quantity of compounds that the poison will have. And by conclusion, we will influence the type of effects that will trigger it uh, in the poison, uh, the poison to brew or the poisoned uh, accident by snake bite. Talking a little more about the mechanisms of snake's poison. We can start the subject by pointing, pointing out the neurotoxic symptoms are the results of attacks of both the, the central uh, neurological systems and peripheral uh, neurological systems levels. And I wanted to highlight the action of the neurotoxins uh, inhibiting inhibit, inhibit, inhibit the, the enzyme acetylcholinesterase because it's uh, this act has its direct action on the respiratory system, causing the causing a condition of respiratory respiratory depression, and there are still other effect, uh, toxic effects such as decrease in the state of consciousness, together with dizziness, uh, blurring, and loss of the of vision, muscle paralysis. And finally, the, the loss of ability of the protect oneself. It's a very efficient uh, mechanism of poisoning that uh, is the snakes are very efficient to capture the prey because of these effects. In other words, uh, the poisons promote immobilizing effects and loss the previous ability to defend, flight, or flee. It's a perfect meal for the snake. The venous compounds so acts to the muscle and the heart tissues and on the vascular system, interfering with the components of the co coagulation cascade and on the organ system, causing lethargy and disseminate intravascular coagulation. It's an important effect. 
Besides this effect, we have hemorrhage, hemorrhage and incoagulability. In other words, the poison, it uh, makes it impossible to the body's physiology to maintain itself, leading to the most assistant fail and thus early death and uh, the pro animal. As for the tissues, especially for the in the muscle, we can highlight that are compounds to in the poison that destroy the fibers. In actions, uh, all these actions aim to accelerate the degradation of tissues and initi initiate uh, early digestion on the killed animals. Uh, it's an important uh, uh, it's an important point to uh, to 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 look because the animals initiate this, the, uh, our digestion uh, the exact moment that inject the, the poison in the animal, the pre. The pre. Uh, and now we finally come into the stars of our conversation, the snake, the rattlesnakes. We can say that despite not being uh, the first number of accidents in Brazil, because it's Jararaca has uh, that has that first position, uh, but head snakes accidents are very are the most uh, deadly. This fact it's enough for us to study these animals and try to show how coexist without causing harm harm uh, to both. Uh, we also need to understand the effects of this venom in order to neutralize it, and who knows even produce medicine based of on them. The, the, the constitutions of these uh, venoms. Well, about the rate of snakes venoms in particular, how we can see, how we can say about it. It seems to be good to start the subject by remembering that the base composition of the venoms is by proteins. Then we analyze the, the biochemical and toxicology mechanisms and the, that are present in the rate of snakes venoms, we are able to detect very ob uh, obvious neurotoxic effects with hematoxic, hemotoxic, and cytotoxic effects as well in the, this poison. It is clear that to severity uh, of the effects, it's linked to about inject, and so you can see that the neurotox effects are intended to paralyze the body and the respiratory system um, prevalently. Hematoxic effects are char characterized by triggered internal bleeding and inactivating the coagulation cascade. And the cytotoxic effects are, con are concentrated to destroying cells, organs, and tissues, forcing them to fail and then necro uh, necrotize the tissues at all. It's a very important effect in the poison. Thus, the most prevalent symptoms of hate uh, snakes accidents uh, will be the presence of the little pain and the little, almost no edema inside of the bite. It's an important point to difference, different, to, to, to produce a difference in botrop and crotalus uh, snake bites. The crotalus snake bites no have or have a little pain in the 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 the, the the local, the site of snake bite, and we don't don't see, we don't find uh, uh, edema in the snake bite. But paler at the site of the snake bite, it's a more important signal. It's a very important uh, point to to know. Uh, principally, then we uh, we we attend it in the emergency emergency uh, con con uh, conditions systemically. We will detect nausea, nausea, vomit, stirring speech, loss of vision, and eyelid drop. Respiratory distress is, is uh, uh, perceived, uh, perceptive symptoms too. And organ and tissue pathological damage. We can talk about the necrosis with progressive hadomiolysis. It's an important uh, point to, to, to know because of the hadomiolysis. Uh, are involved together with acute kindle injury, then be fast and lethal, and the progressive symptoms we we perceive uh, in the snake bites by crotalic, 
uh, accidents and cardioembolic events associated with multiple organ failure. It's a uh, very uh, difficult uh, symptoms to 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 to, to treatment to produce the treatment if you don't know if a, a kind of snake bite happens. In other words, a perfect synchronization of lethal effects, which leads to the fast death of the prey and to ensure safe and painful view of the snakes. Yeah? It's a big problem then we have a snake bite, an accident with the dead animals. Looking at the chemical spectrum of this poison, uh, the basic components, the basic components in in it will be the present the presence of uh, phospholipases families, such as crotoxin, such as very frequent nickels in snake snake uh, rattlesnakes venoms. Another very common family uh, are ser serine proteases, less such as cholinine cholinine one and gyrotoxin uh, proteases. Uh, we also have the lepsins, especially the convoxin, it's well, uh, as well. The metalloproteases are found in three main forms, P1, P2, and P3 forms, each one which are uh, different mechanism of action, where cotamine is a highlight of this group. There are still uh, the L-amino oxidases, like uronidases, the C type of phosphogesterases in actions to the nucleotides as kind of proteins, uh, different proteins have all, all these proteins have um, a different mechanism or uh, works together in the mechanism of poison. There are we used to uh, I, I just talk a little amino oxidases and you see there are many compounds then high biological efficiency with is I this poison is so little these these little uh, molecules I have potent potent effects in the the life organs make make uh, uh, an association between the effects of this these compounds and their medical importance uh, by by humans uh, primarily uh, about metalloproteases it's necessary to understand that these proteases are required for pathological tests such, uh, such as inflammation and tissue destructions, as well for the biological, physiological activities such as generation, generation and collagen, uh, collagen, collagen uh, degradation. And, and that is why studying them beca uh, becomes so important because from then we can find prototypes uh, prot prototypes uh, of treatment of important uh, pathologies, pathologies uh, uh, or even new drugs uh, using this, the molecular, uh, the molecular uh, formation and copy the mechanisms and understand the mechanisms of action. We can produce, uh, we can uh, uh, learn uh, uh, how we control this this mechanism and use it to the pro to do the medicine to the produce a medical effects. Talking a bit more, uh, talking a bit about the serine proteases, then existing large concentration in rattlesnakes snakes venoms on some uh, on must highlight their influence on the blood the blood and the circulatory system that act on the coagulation cascade is an, a, in a similar way to human thrombin by converting fibrinogen to fibrin. We have physiological uh, ways uh, using this mechanism. Only this, uh, only this uh, thrombin from loose clots and some becomes the, the, the detection. And this ends for uh, ends uh, up forcing the body to form more uh, uh, continually uh, for uh, producing and and depleting, producing and depleting, and this uh, which this these situations culminates and consuming all the body's entire of stock of fibrinogen, and these points 
é, leaves the coagulopathy é, results in the incoagulability because, uh, produced by consumption of fibrinogen. É, additionally, serines have other objects as, as initially um, facilitating the, pro the process of tissue digestion, already the beginning of the position, the, the, sorry, the poison. It's an important thing because the, 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 the digestion uh, begins uh, outside the, the digestion system of the snakes. Some studies have, sh have shown that serinists uh, are also involved into the human events in organs. It's an important point. It's important um, uh, uh, mechanism to 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 produce in, uh, uh, the interest to research about it. It it's for the reasons that medical and pharmacological research into new compounds has been investing and looking forward to these compound, compounds. It's a very interesting compounds to research. And last but not least. We have to highlight to the huge and especially very important group of heterosnakes venom, which the family of phospholipases, especially of, of the A2 type, because they use membrane phospholipides as substrates, initially several biochemical circles linked to the inflammation cascades. And these compounds are also linked to the human pathogenic process, such as Alzheimer's disease, and cancer pro pro progression. Their studies is particularly important and strategic for the discovery and production of new health uh, products. It's an uh, 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 interesting strategic way to research because phospholipids are present in, in all of organisms in more uh, prevalence or not much prevalence, but it's present. And these eff 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 effects are very common in the pathological ways and physiological ways. It's an important point to understand and research about it. Of course, uh, looking for um, uh, pharmaceutical or medicine, med medicinal uh, products or therapies or ways of treatments. And so coming to the end of our conversation, uh, we would like to point out that we talk about general characteristics of the study, uh, the ecology of these beautiful animals. So uh, about the profile and the addiction of the venoms uh, that are produced by them, in particular about the rate of snakes that, uh, that has uh, been covered in more details in this presentation. And finally, the potential of the studies with venoms may be useful to support researches into the new compounds and help the treatment of important human disease. It's our, our dreams, our expectatives, uh, researching about this uh, interest in, uh, in the study and knowing about the behaviors, the, the pausing, the, the, the venom compounds and uh, understand the, the environments with these animals are, are living. It's an amazing animals and it's an amazing study, uh, this, this, this point of the ecology system. And so to conclude this, this moment, I leave my contacts, the teacher Carlos too, in our department. I also give the invite and the freedom for anyone to interested to join us or extending this conversation about these animals, about their venoms and their pharmacological, pharmaceutical and medicinal potentials, or to know more about the research and outcomes we have already obtained. Uh, just send us an email. Uh, again, thank you uh, very much for the opportunity, and I hope to meet you soon. See you soon.